Welcome back to Embedded World. Now, ST already has a really strong reputation among developers for its innovative work in the field of imaging sensors, but that reputation is about to go up to the next level with the launch of a new ecosystem. And Sylvie Irigaray can tell us more about it. Sylvie? Yes, Chris, you're quite right. We have indeed a new brand ecosystem available for our customers and developers. Uh, combining uh, ST BrightSense, Global Shutter Sensors. That was launched last year, wasn't it? Exactly, you remember well. I do. And also the STM32 uh, N6, so the famous new high-end microcontrollers uh, from ST with enhanced uh, AI uh, capabilities. Now, we've got a couple of demos to bring it all to life. Exactly, and one of the first demos is this uh, AI Camera Assistant Kit on which we have the VD55G1 0.6 megapixel global shutter sensor along uh, with the STM32 N6 and on this first demo the application is uh, people segmentation body posture and we plan of course to develop uh, new applications in the near future so let's stay tuned we will find more. So, so what would be a real life example of this, the value of this? One of the main examples will be to detect when, for instance, someone is lying on the ground and may need assistance. In a hospital or? In hospitals, exactly, retirement home. Okay. So it's uh, important. Early warning system, really, exactly. to get them help. To send an alert and to uh, inform that this person is, uh, is in bad condition. Very clever. So, uh, yeah, exactly. So for, I would say, all markets related to people, health care slash medical. Yeah. Okay, let's move on to our second demo, which is focusing on barcodes. Exactly. And barcode is... Uh, is a famous use case for global shutter sensors. So on this uh, demo here, we have uh, different boxes with 2D barcodes uh, that are moving in front of our imager. And thanks to uh, its performance, high sensitivity and uh, architecture, the sensor is capable to detect and to decode the 2D barcode. Yeah. I can understand that, but what's the point of the second screen? On the second screen, you have another operating mode of the sensor. This is so-called the differential mode. And you can see that if I move my hands in front of the sensor, in this mode, the sensor will output only the motion of my fingers. What's the purpose of, <laughs> what's so, the purpose of that? The purpose of that is to uh, output a single frame motion sensing. Okay. So this processing is done at sensor level. So on, uh, uh, on the sensor, we have an in-pixel subtraction of two consecutive subframes with the same integration time, but we have a programmable delay in between them. So it means that the sensor can output only the changing pixels. And what is interesting is that for the host, when it receives this kind of information, the host can process only the changing pixel. So we save MIPS and power. Now, I heard you talk to a customer earlier and said, oh, this is unique. Everybody says it's unique. You know, is it really? Unique? It is. Really? Unique. Exactly. Why? Because ST is one of the sole companies capable to propose uh, camera software drivers, including ST BrightSense imagers, and also the STM32 N6, but also the MP2, uh, and the other microcontrollers like the H7, uh, U5, H5, so, and many more. To Lots. Come. A lot. <laughs> Listen, finally, where can viewers find out more? On ST.com, of course. We have uh, product pages for each of our products. Uh, so where the visitors can get access to the documentation, the software drivers, and also all the hardware platforms. We have this kind of uh, small evaluation board on which you have uh, also uh, promotion modules, so based on our sensors. These modules are developed by our partners, but are accessible and the visitors, customers can select the optic of their choice and uh, simply so connect to this board, to a Raspberry Pi, to an STM32 discovery kit or whatever in order to evaluate and develop code. Listen, Sylvie, fantastic. Thank you so much for talking to us and enjoy the rest of Embedded World. Thank you.